background of the scholar gypsy it has been suggested that arnold's interest in gypsies was stimulated by the study of wordsworth's poem gypsies and george borrow's works secondly the influence of his mother and his friend miss martin third his visit of a spain with his father in 1839 arnold acquired his copy of joseph glanville's the vanity of dogmatizing 1661 in 1844 in it he found the story of an oxford a scholar who sought refuge among gypsies from the torment of civilization the following extract contains the story of the oxford scholar there was very lately a lad in the university of oxford who being the very pregnant and ready parts and yet wanting the encouragement of preferment was by his poverty forced to leave his studies there and to cast himself on the wide world for his livelihood now his necessities growing daily on him and wanting the help of friends to relieve him he was at last forced to join a company of vagabond gypsies whom he occasionally met with and to follow their trade for a maintenance among these extravagant people by the insinuating subtlety of his charis he quickly got so much of their love and esteem that they discovered to him their mystery in the practice of which by the pregnancy of his wits and parts he grew so good and proficient as to be able to do his in- instructors after he had been a pretty while while well exercised in the trade their chance to write by a group of scholars who had formerly been his acquaintance the scholar had quickly spied out their old friends among the gypsies and their amazement to see him in the in such a society had well high discovered him but by a sign he prevented their own their owning him before that crew and talking one of them aside privately desired him with his friend to go and in not for distant distance promising they are to come to them they accordingly went tita he followed after their first salutations his friends acquired inquired how he came to lead so odd a life that was and to join with such a cheating beggarly company the scholar gypsy having given them an account of the necessity which drove him to that kind of life told them that the people he went with were not such impostors as they were taken for but that they had a traditional kind of learning among them and could do wonders by the powers of the imagination and that he himself had learnt much of their art and improved it further than themselves could and to evince the truth of what he told them he said he would remove to another room leaving them to discourse together and upon their return tell them the su- sum of what they had talked of which accordingly he performed giving them a full account of what had passed between them in his absence the scholar being amazed at so unexpected a discovery earnestly desired him to unriddle the mystery in which he gave them a satisfaction by telling them that what he did was by the power of the imagination his fancy binding theirs and that himself had dictated their discourse they held together while he was away from them that there were warrantable ways of heightening the imagination to that pitch 
as to bind another and that when he had encompassed the whole secret some parts of which he said he was yet ignorant he intended to leave their company and give the world an account of what he learned it is interesting to study arnold's use of his materials the hero of the scholar gypsy is modeled on glanville's oxford scholar and so he is nothing if not a wanderer but he is not a mere wanderer he is a simple he is a symbol of perennial youth the conception of the scholar gypsy's immortality is also arnoldian arnoldian it has nothing to do with glanville again in the arnold's poem the supernatural element has been reduced to a minimum there is very little in it about the science of mesmerism